Um, you know, hard fought game. Yeah, it, it, it really was. Um, you know, I, I thought we did a lot to be able to give ourselves position, a chance to win, and um, we had our chances. Um, you know, we in a possession game like that, we we were too off in a lot of areas to be able to uh, to complete that complete that game. Uh, I think we probably missed fifteen or twenty shots within two feet, and you got to make some of those. And we missed some open threes, and we missed some shots there. I thought our defense gave us a chance to win. After the first probably five or six minutes, I think we settled in and played really good defense for the rest of the game, and that gave us a chance. And we just could not kind of get over towards the end there and be able to make the plays. And and um, this learning situation, we've actually been in these situations throughout the year and and been successful. And, and now we're on the other side of it, and, and so we got to learn from this just like we're learning more successful in these situations. You're talking about the misses in close. Did did they affect your shots? Did they kind of I don't know cause any hesitation or anything going up? Yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 obviously two two ways. Um, they got great shot blockers. One of the best shot blocking teams in the country. Um, we went into the game um, knowing that we had to play off two feet and knowing we had to shot fake. And I did do a good good enough job coaching, getting that message across to our guys. Um, that was what we emphasized, and we didn't do it. And and even after that. That was some of them. Um, but there was a segment there. We had two or three tip-ins in the first half that, that are just almost you know easy plays for us. We've been making them all year that just backed off the rim. And you know, we needed those points in those segments. So we couldn't find tough ones. They got down to four minutes. Um, they got an offensive rebound put back, uh, give their guard a credit for, for making those two free throws in a tough situation. And, and we just couldn't quite get over it right there towards the end. Kind of talk about Justin Abson's performance against Bickerstaff. What did you kind of see from him in that matchup going into the game? And how do you think, well, he limited Bickerstaff to Poppy's worst game of the year? Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, the, the, the big fella for them is good. He's a really good player, talented player, and only a sophomore. Um, you know, TJ was just off. Uh, I think there's a lot of those plays he normally makes. And um, so, again, it's one of those two things that they did a good job guarding him. But I know TJ knows he's capable and more could play better. His, I think he had an ankle injury at the end of South Alabama game. Was there soreness at all heading into this game? or? No, he was healthy. Um, he missed two days of practice this week being sick. That was, you know, that was um, the biggest issue. So uh, he fought hard. He, he tried to play. He competed and just wasn't you know, anybody's night. Yeah, I mean, you know, what we use these things as learning experiences, and and you know, we know we know we got to do things better, and we know we got to fix things. And it's exciting we can, and um, you know, no one's down. It's it's, it's a hard fought game. They're a good team, so we give them the credit for doing what they did, and we could do some things better. You know, um, earlier this week on Monday, you kind of mentioned how some of you guys have a bad habit of when things get bad, kind of putting it all on them. Um, do you feel like, you know, for as good as Terrence was today, do you feel like there were kind of points where he was kind of putting it all on his shoulders? Yeah, I mean, in the first half, he was the only one that had any success on offense. And um, and then if we didn't have his, you know, aggressiveness on offense and the plays he was making, we'd have been in big trouble. And the second half, I was trying to get him a minute break there. I know he was, you know, I probably played him too many minutes. And he's, he can make those plays. Um, that three at the end was probably the only one that I was like, you know, that's not it. But he had a situation where, you know, he could deliver the ball to TJ and, and it didn't. Got, got, you know, maybe he got hit, maybe not, but it didn't get to him. And he's been making that play. And um, he did a good job getting to the rim. So we'll ride with him. He'll keep getting better. And, um, and he'll learn just like we're all learning. You know, we're, we're going to um, fix the things that we didn't do right. And and then hopefully when we get the final test, we're ready to go. Uh, Coach, 
This afternoon, Xavier Brown was massive off the bench and ended up being in the lineups in a lot of the closing minutes, had two big threes as well. Can you speak to his impact and what his just energy gave you all today? Yeah, well, I'll talk about the first half. He's, his, his energy and defense got us back going. And we're able to kind of get there to a, you know, only a couple possession game because his, his, um, his energy on defense, his steals, you know, what he was doing to disrupt their offense. In the second half, he did make two big threes and, and it made a nice um, uh, shot around the rim. His offense was good. But he had a good, he had a good game. I mean, he was, um, he was ready to play. And um, he was one of the few guys I thought was in rhythm. And, um, but it was his defensive rhythm that, that was really impressive to me. Um, I knew he could make shots. I knew he could do that. But his defense got us back in the game. And speaking of that defensive swing and the end of the first half, you go on an 11-0 run, rattling App State, getting the crowd involved. What was the sentiment and message to your squad at halftime, and how do you feel they executed coming out of the break? Well, we didn't start the second half with the same type of intensity. Um, you know, they go on a run, and they actually get back, I think, up 10 points in the second half. And then we had to fight, fight back from that. And multiple times we had to fight back. And... Um, but, you know, the, the spurt there at the end of the first half, you know, that was how we were supposed to play. And uh, I thought we had great intensity and we were dictating the game and um, did a, our offense even wasn't great during that segment, but our defense really was. You know, you've kind of been uh, experimenting a lot with different lineups this season. And you look at a guy like Xavier and the impact he's had off the bench tonight. You know, have you kind of thought at all about potentially maybe throwing him in the starting lineup a little bit more often as the season, season has gone on and he's just performed so well? No, we don't talk about those things right now. We, you know, the guys who play, play, and, and you know, he, he, he's been playing well. He's an important part of the team, just like everybody else.